Hello, and this is I'm Saddle JD coming to you from San Pedro, uh, Belize. So, this is my second day here. Um, last night I went to bed at like 11 ish, and then I still woke up at 10 and set my alarm so that way I would wake up on time because I have to check out because uh, I'm off to San uh, like, so Tinha uh, to help uh, rehabilitate amenities at Wild Tracks. So uh, with an hour before checkout, you know, I packed, uh, packed up my stuff, went on Facebook, messaged some friends, and then at 11 o'clock, I decided to go for a walk. Um, so I ended up walking uh, one hour uh, north all the way up. I stopped at Rum Dogs Bar and Grill. Uh, I was going to eat there, but I wasn't sure how long it would take me to get like back into like the city since I walked an hour, and I still wasn't really hungry. So I just decided um, to walk um, along the on the beachfront all the way because um, coming from the hostel you can walk along and then the road kind of takes a curve like over a bridge and then it's mostly just um, a road from there because um, I couldn't figure out how to like get down I didn't want to walk somewhere I wasn't so on the way back I just took like the um, the way back and I was just having so much fun because there's iguanas everywhere I mean I've only seen iguanas as pets so I was absolutely having like a blast taking photos of all like the iguanas and they definitely don't like people because as soon as you go close to them, they just like scurry away. Um, that was like a lot of fun. I you know, took some photos of the beautiful blue sea. Um, and I ended up meeting um, American eating some food like along the seawall. And then, um, so yeah, it didn't take me that long to get back. And then once I got back into town, I um, went to, ah, I went to the Palpita um, Bar and Grill on the river because I really wanted um, to, eat over the river and lo and behold they didn't know that you can actually go swimming so luckily for me I wore my bathing suit so after I got done eating um, I jumped into the water like that beautiful blue water and they also have um, lawn chairs out so you could also sit there and have a beer it's a really cool place and they have a lot of music I mean if I ever go back to San Pedro I'd probably definitely go back to this place it was pretty cool um, so then uh, at two o'clock I was like ah, I have to go because my taxi is at three um, so at two I went back to the hostel quickly showered and then walked to the um, gate for uh, the water taxi I already had my ticket because I bought it yesterday so that was great so I kind of just like sat at the entrance a while because everyone was putting their bags like on a little trolley but it was full and my bag's big and heavy so I didn't want to put it there so I just kind of like waited and then the customs people were like uh, well, I actually went up to the custom people and I was like, hey, um, like, is my bike going to go? And they're like, yeah, just leave it here. We're like, we'll make sure it goes. So, of course, you have to wear your mask. And before you go through the customs, you have to wash your hands. So I washed my hands and I kind of just stand there. And then once three o'clock came around, they finally called out numbers for people to go because I put all the bags on there. My bag was in there, thank goodness. And... Um, yeah, so they're calling out numbers, and I was like, my ticket doesn't have a number, and I was like, oh no. So I, so they're like, uh, you have to go back to the counter and get a number, and I was like, but well, I bought my ticket yesterday. So I had to go back to the counter, and they put number three, and so I went back to the boat, they're at 23, and I was like, man, I could have gotten like a really good seat, but uh, no, I was like in the back of the boat. Um, and it's like super crowded because there's so many people. So it's like a tiny speedboat and it's like full of people. Um, and I felt like I probably wasn't going to enjoy this ride. So I put in my earbuds and I listened to Taylor Swift for like the whole hour and a half um, thing. And I closed my eyes, just like trying to get it over as quickly as possible. Cause there's no windows, there's nothing, you can't see anything. So um, I didn't want to waste my battery on my phone. So I just listened to some music and just try to chill and relax as much as possible. So I probably arrived here an hour and a half later. I think that's about what time it took. And uh, Wild Tracks, uh, Donnie, he came and picked me up um, in his old beat up pickup truck. Uh, so it kind of reminded me of home on that bitch. And then, yeah, it took a 15 minute drive. And of course, um, there's no like paved road. It's all like gravel and it's all bumpy. So it took us 15 minutes to get to Wild Tracks. And once I got here, like, oh my God, like everyone came out to like say hello and everyone greeted me. Everyone was super friendly and super nice. Uh, it was a little bit overwhelming um, simply because, you know, um, jet lag and whatnot. But um, 
So Kara, the assistant manager, she uh, took me around. Uh, she showed me where my cabana was gonna be. She showed me where we get fresh water. Uh, she showed me um, like where the fridge is, make sure everything's labeled, where cereal, uh, where the cereal goes and breakfast goes, and uh, my little uh, cubby hole for my cabana. And then, uh, so then I ended up unpacking. Uh, it was Tatiana's last night. Um, and it's also the last night because curfew is going down to 7 p.m. Not 9 p.m. It's a bummer. So everyone wanted to go out and have like one last drink like out on the town before uh, curfew picked up, or kicked in. Um, yeah, so uh, at six o'clock we all went. So we, uh, um, yeah, so we went to town. They, um, Donnie dropped us off. So all of us, like 10 of us, were in the back of his like pickup truck. Um, so that was fun. Reminded me of my childhood. Um, and then, yeah, so we got dropped off at like a, uh, at a store, like a little convenience store. If you wanted to like buy anything, because who knows, the next time we'll go into town. So I just bought some Coca-Cola for my big bottle of rum and coke. And then we just went to a tiny little um, restaurant. And uh, so there was a pool table, so some people play pool. And I just decided to like, kind of chat and like get a feel for the thing. Uh, Donnie came back to pick us up at 8.30 because of curfew because he has to go drop us off and then come back and make sure he's in uh, in his house by the 9 p.m. curfew. So um, everyone kind of um, kind of drifts off about 9 o'clock because everyone's a little bit tired. So a bunch of us um, grabbed some drinks and then we went to the boys area where their cabana is and we just kind of sat in a hammock and listened to some music and chatted and drank some. And I drank some rum, so uh, it was a really good first chill day at Wild Tracks, and I cannot wait for tomorrow where I get to see the manatees and you know uh, learn more about that and uh, what they do here at Wild Tracks. So ah, let's see what tomorrow brings. Bye.